Welcome back to day 6 of Random Math Stuff. So today I had an idea, and as you saw in the thumbnail, the idea is a function guessing contest, minigame, whatever you want to call it. Here's how it would work. I would put you in a pre-made Desmos graph, where you can see everything except the function itself. Now you just type in random crap until things line up, and that's it. That's my idea. It probably needs some tweaks to make it better, such as a list of allowed functions, but otherwise I think it's a pretty fun idea. Here's an example of how a round of this minigame would go. By zooming out, we notice that the function looks a little wobbly. This makes us suspect that the function contains sign, which would explain its wobbliness. So we subtract sign and hope to get something a little less crazy. But should we add sign instead? Should we subtract to sign instead of just sign? To answer this, let's make a slider and adjust that until something looks right. It looks like subtracting sign was the smart thing to do, since we now have a nice root at x equals 4, and our function also looks a lot smoother. So let's hide the initial function and work on this one instead. We recognize that there is a minimum at x equals 16 over 9, which might be useful. Or it might not. Hmm. Let's explore what the function does as x approaches infinity. It looks kind of like half a quadratic, but it seems like this function doesn't grow as fast as quadratics. So maybe it's something like x to the power of 1.5 instead of x to the power of 2. Let's make another slider to find out. It looks like we were right. Our function is similar to x to the power of 1.5. In math terms, we say that these two functions are asymptotically equivalent. But we're not done, because these functions are still not the same. So let's subtract x to the power of 1.5 from our blue function over here. And now we have a straight line, which we can quickly identify to be negative 2x. So our original function must have been x to the power 1.5 minus 2x plus sine of x. And look at that, we were right. This would be a pretty difficult round, but you can make things easier by simply choosing a different function. Bonus, it's pretty much immune to cheating. How are you going to cheat? Taking a screenshot and putting it into ChatGPT won't help, it's too slow, and it doesn't even come close to getting it right. In my opinion at least, this is much more fun than an integration bee, both to watch and to participate in. So yeah, if anyone at MIT is watching this video, you know what to do. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you tomorrow. Short video today. Peace.